Um, so <laughs> it's a it's an ugly house, but it it, it means something to me. Um, one year ago today, one-year-old little Eli Anders was killed and his 10-year-old sister was injured in a hit-and-run crash on the near southeast side. Tonight, family members are still looking for answers and change. They remembered Eli at a vigil tonight and shared with CBS4's Justin Kolar how they want to make sure something like this never happens again. Feel like Eli mattered. He didn't get to grow up or go to college or get married, so he didn't have a lot of people that knew him, but it makes it feel like he mattered to someone other than just me. While much here has remained the same, that house means a lot to me. We call that Eli's house. In the year following one year old Eli Anders' death, his mother demands change. I'd like to see speed bumps. I'd like to see a lot of safety measures put in on Nelson. It gets a lot of traffic and there's a lot of kids on the street that play in the street, um, that ride their bikes in the street. Just slow down. Kids like Darren, who saw the scene last year when Eli was killed. They need to slow down and they really need to stop what they're doing. They, they're hurting people. It doesn't have to be this way. I think you can either sit in your house or on your porch and complain or you can get involved. At least not according to the Neighborhood Association. We just worked with his mother and agreed with her that, you know, we could do everything possible to try and get speed bumps on this street because they do fly by pretty quickly. They pushed the city to install two new stop signs here and a four-way stop nearby. I want it to be safer for everybody's kids so that someone else's child doesn't end up hurt or killed like my kids. They've got enough signatures for speed bumps too, all thanks to Eli, his mother, and the neighborhood behind them. He was just a baby, but he's going to do something big here for everyone and keep everybody else's kids safe. In the Bean Creek neighborhood, Justin Cole, CBS 4 News. Justin, thank you. Police say there are no suspects in this case, and they're hoping that somebody will turn themselves in. For the speed bumps, the Neighborhood Association will present their signed petition to the city, where it will be further discussed very soon.